Hi, and welcome to Geographical Analysis. My name is Dr. Stephen Farber. This is Lecture 1, The Context of Statistical Techniques. In today's lecture, I'm going to introduce you to the field of statistics, how it plays a role in geography, both in terms of research and practice, and also we're going to go over some of the fundamental introductory concepts that we're going to use in this class. To begin, let's talk about what geography is. Uh, uh, the, the, the dictionary definition states that geography is a science that deals with uh, describing uh, and understanding spatial distributions across the Earth's surface. And when we talk about describing a location on the Earth's surface, we might be uh, interested in some sort of physical features like mountains and streams and rivers, forests. We might be interested uh, alternatively in some kind of human processes like where urban settlements take place, what kinds of land use patterns uh, people produce on the Earth's surface, and often we're very interested in knowing how these different types of processes interact with one another over space. And especially in today's world where we have such an emphasis on understanding sustainability, uh, we're often charged with the task of trying to understand how human systems are interacting with environmental systems and we want to know how we can improve different locations on the Earth's surface or conserve the quality of the Earth's surface for future generations. So we're very typical, we're very typically uh, using statistical techniques to answer questions about locations on the Earth's surface. We want to know what are places like, how do places compare to one another, whether or not processes are interacting with, with each other over space and how that occurs, and how and what as policymakers or researchers or government or business, what can we do to affect a change on on the surface of the earth or to stop a process that's occurring that might be damaging something uh, either in our cities or out in uh, in conservation areas. So uh, geography is a very nebulous field. Uh, you know, a traditional way to think of geography is, is, is that it's this integrative science. So what this plot is showing here, and bear with me as I, as I learn the technologies that I'm trying to use here for the first time, let me try the pen. What this plot is showing here is a, a split between different uh, scientific disciplines. So over here we have the physical sciences and down below we have the uh, human and social sciences. And in fact I didn't want to do that. Let me try something else here. I thought I chose a laser pointer. There we go. So uh, up over here we have the the, the the physical sciences and down below human and social sciences. And each of these disciplines is a discipline unto itself, but they interact with geography when we are trying to understand these disciplines from the perspective of uh, a location in space or, or, or a location on the Earth's surface. So, uh, uh, you know, bio biology is a field unto itself, but when we're interested in the spatial distributions of of life forms across the Earth's surfaces, like a map of, say, species distributions, then we're entering into the field of biogeography, trying to understand biographical uh, features, but within the context of locations on the Earth's surface. And we can do that for um, basically any of the Earth sciences or physical sciences or any of the human and social sciences as well. And while this chart from 1999 uh, on the human side, for example, lists sociology, history, and economics, I think it's really important to understand that, uh, that geography intersects with all of the social sciences. We've got political science and geopolitics. We've got health, public health, and health geography. Uh, Geography plays a big role in understanding tourism and leisure. Uh, some of my background is in retail geography, so trying to understand spatial distributions of 
where stores are in urban areas, what type of stores are where, how big their market areas, and so on. So uh, geography tends to be integrative because when we're trying to understand the locational characteristics of, say, species, we might also need to consider uh, the, the, the pattern of urbanization on the Earth's surface. And urban geography is a subset, really, of economic geography. So because we are un trying to understand the characteristics of a location of the biota of a region, we might also need to understand the economy of the region, maybe the history of the region, or the demographics of the region. So geography really is charged with the task of trying to integrate uh, and try to understand how these different disciplines fit together and how they interact with, e with each other at a specific location or across different locations on the Earth's surface. Um, if, you, if you think about uh, geography as a discipline, and a lot of you are University of Utah students, but if you're not, uh, that's okay. This probably applies to the department where you're, the geography department where you are, but but we can think about uh, splitting the discipline of geography up into these categories. And this is a slightly older synthesis, but I think a lot of it, uh, a lot of what this chart shows us has remained pretty much the same. Uh, there's some newer versions of this out there, but this one is, is more basic and understandable. But generally speaking, we are mostly seeing geographers and geography departments define themselves along systematic divides. And that means we are, uh, geographers are typically situated within either understanding physical systems or understanding human systems. So I do urban geography, transportation geography, economic geography, so I would consider myself a human geographer, but we have pyrogeographers in our department, we have uh, uh, glaciologists, uh, I'm not sure if that's a term, actually, but these are, you know, the types of uh, research activities that are taking place on the physical side of, of, this, of the geography spectrum. Now, in addition to having this divide of, of physical versus human, these are systematic divides, a lot of geographers will also have some sort of regional uh, focus as well. And that regional focus, well, those can be uh, termed uh, as ecological zones, so as zonal regions, so as someone who studies polar ice caps, someone who might study tropical geography, deserts, mountain regions, or those regions might be cultural or human-generated regions, so Latin America, North America, and uh, someone who focuses on the geography of Africa, for example. So these are cultural divides. and. And typically, in a geography department, you'll also find some people who really specialize in techniques. So people who research how to make maps, cartographers, or people who research statistical methods for conducting geographical analysis in any of these other disciplines or, or subfields. So we do have people that, that really specialize in techniques as well. I happen to be one of those people as well. and. And this class is really going to focus on uh, quantitative methods for geographic research. And we're going to take examples from physical and human systems or from different regions in, in, on, in, on the planet and try to apply quantitative analysis in order to come up with uh, answer questions about, uh, that arise from, from these sub-disciplines.